That cup of joe that's starting your day? It's got a lot more than just the caffeine you've been jonesing for. It's full of science, and the wizards who can explain it are called Q-graders. A lot of people become Q-graders because they're working for a coffee company and they are they become the coffee, the buyer for the company. Getting certified to be a Q-grader is really, really tough. It's 22 tests over three days. Q-grader and infusion coffee and tea owner Patrick O'Malley is here to educate us about the bean. First up, flavor begins with the eyes. You actually use quite a lot in your eyes. Q-graders also are grading coffees for the quality before it gets roasted and before it gets, gets cupped. Then we inspect the coffee for visual defects. That will affect the flavor of the coffee. Beans are inspected for defects due to mold, fermentation, and immaturity. But the one you'll see the most, bugs. The insect gives a vinegary taste to the coffee. Um, it's not nice. Next, it's all about smell. And it's as complex as wine. Train your nose like a Q grader in the 36 aromas that have been ID'd by researchers as the most important of the 1,000 different fragrances you experience in your coffee. It is uh, by Le Nuz de Café. It's the same people that make the same testing kits for so many, but these are all about coffee. You have dried distillation, sugar browning, aromatic taints, and enzymatic. They can give you clues about the roaster's technique and the type and origin of the bean. And finally, taste the acidic notes. I like jammy, big fruit, lots of um, different types of acidic tones in the coffee so you can get the same acidity you'd find in a strawberry. If your coffee has apple or pear flavors, you may be detecting malic acid. And if you're tasting grape notes, that's the tartaric acid. Wake up and smell the science on The Lowdown.